So today I'm going to show you how to add live snowfall to your winter images by using AI in Canva. So we'll begin by going to video and then I'll go to video landscape and I'm going to find a picture to use so we'll go to elements then go down to photos and type in family in the snow. We'll scroll down to find this image here and now I'm going to go back on elements to graphics and I'm going to type in white snowfall transparent and then you can test out some of these snowfall effects here and see which you think is going to fit best with the image. So I'm going to go for this one here and to make it show up a little bit better I'll click on the background image and then I'll go to edit and adjust and take the brightness down a bit and that will help the snow to show up better. So I'll make it slightly smaller but then we'll duplicate, put another one in and duplicate again and then we can select these three by holding down shift as you select them, duplicate and just make another row and another row. So we have the snow coming down on the image and now the next thing we need to do is to save this image so we'll go to share, download, download as a PNG and increase the quality and press download. Once it's downloaded we can then upload it and we'll increase the size to fit it across the canvas. Now with the image selected go down to apps and type in image animate. Go to this one and when I first got Canva Pro this app came with some free credits so you may have some too but if you need to get some then you can go to vimerse.net where a thousand credits cost $14 and the video I'm going to create today will only cost 40 credits. So down here we can say describe your video so I have a prompt that I have written here add gentle realistic falling snow across the scene with varied flake sizes and natural downward motion keep the family still but animate subtle joyful expressions as they look at each other and laugh softly maintain the wintry atmosphere soft lighting and depth with smooth natural snowfall throughout the image so I'll put that in the description below this video next we'll go to AI tool and we'll click Kling AI. Next under camera movement we'll just go to static although there are other options available and then under video settings we'll just have five seconds because that will mean that it will just be 40 credits overall and then I'll click generate. Now we can add this to the design. Once it's been added we can delete everything else including all of the snow behind and then we can increase the size of this video bring it to the beginning of the timeline we'll delete these other pieces and also this video here now next I'm going to go back to elements and I'll go to photos and I'll type in person looking at photo We'll click on this one here and we'll put it above the video and then we want to click on it and make it a bit smaller so that we can grab the other video. Right click on this, go to layer and say bring to front, make it smaller and make the other one a bit bigger. Now click on this picture, go to edit, go along to magic grab. And we just want to select the person's hands and click grab and then take our video here and we want to just overlap this with the photo in their hands and it's going to be slightly too long so you're going to have to crop it in. Now the reason that the thumbs are staying over the video at the moment is because they are a different layer since we grabbed them. So we'll go to position and you can see under layers that the hands are here. 
If they happen to be behind the photo, then you just need to make sure that they are in front. And then when we preview this, we'll see the person looking at a live photo. Lastly, to save this now, we can go to share, download, and download as an MP4 video and decide on the quality that you want and click download. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you today. Please do subscribe to the channel to learn more about Canva.